What's going on guys? Today we're going to be showing you how to change out the lift cylinder. We got the bed off this truck and we're going to get good angles on showing you how to do it. I'm going to crawl underneath and take it off as there was a bed on top of the truck, but we're just going to give you a better angle from up top so you guys can see exactly how to change this cylinder out. A couple tools that you're going to need is a basic, you need a hammer, 11 16 wrench, 3 quarter wrench, 7 8 wrench, pair of cutters, pry bar, and you will need a jack. All right, so the first step that you guys are gonna do is you're gonna actually take your hydraulics and you're gonna go down with the lift cylinder all the way down until it's on the ground. All right, so our next step after we have the wheel lift down on the ground, we need to cut this zip tie that is on the line holding this. So we're gonna cut that and then we're gonna take our stubby 7 8 wrench and we're gonna loosen the green side and the yellow side. You are going to want to have a drain pan. These lines are filled with about eight to nine feet of fluid and they will drain out. So you're gonna to wanna to have something for that fluid to go in. So have a drain pan down there, crack it, bring it over to the drain pan and it'll be less of a mess. So let's go ahead and I'll climb under here I'll crack these two loose and then we'll do our next step. And now that I'm underneath here, I'm going to take my dykes, reach up from the bottom, snip the zip tie, free that line up. And now I'm going to be able to access this green one, crack that loose. And you should be able to get it by hand. There's one, and then like I said, take this line and go down to a drain pan right here. And that let that drain out. Now let's go to the other side. All right, now that we're on the other side, we're gonna get onto our yellow line. And we're gonna crack that loose. We're gonna get this line off. And then we're gonna drain this down. All right, now that we got our lines off, now we're gonna pull our bottom pin. As you can see with our unit on the ground, our cylinder has no tension on it. So go ahead and pull either side pin, doesn't, doesn't matter which side. You're gonna pull that and then take your pry bar and just start pushing that pin over. Just like that, then you can take your hammer and pop that pin out. Now that we have this pin out, now we can go to our final pin and do the same thing, pull the two pins, slide it out, and then we'll be able to pull our cylinder out from underneath. All right, now that we're underneath, we are ready to pull our back pin out. So our first thing we need to do is we need to get this cotter pin out. Sometimes they are a pain to get them by hand, so I have a set of pliers that I'm going to use. All right, now that we got the cotter pin out, we are ready to slide the pin through. You are gonna wanna keep your hand on the bottom of the cylinder so it doesn't fall and smack around. And all we're gonna do is push this pin right on out. Here we go. Go ahead and set that like that. All right, so now that we have both pins slid out, our cylinder sitting there, you can now just pull the cylinder out, but if you do want a little bit of extra working room with the cylinder, take your jack, slide it under here, and we're gonna jack this up a little bit, and it just gives us a little bit of extra working room. Now we are ready to pull the cylinder out, and now you should be able to slide your cylinder right on out and it's that easy now that we got our cylinder out from underneath the truck we got our new cylinder right here now what you're going to do is take 7 8 wrench pop these loose 
pop, pop, set that down, grab your 11 sixteenths. You're gonna loosen this, this line up here and this one here and this assembly is gonna come right off. And then you'll take your two fittings, unscrew them out of your cylinder, grab your 5 sixteenths, stick this in there, undo these, Put your fittings back on and then take your 11 sixteenths and put your lines back on to the new cylinder. When we're putting the new assembly on, we just want to make sure that these bottom 7 8 nuts are tight. And then we're going to take our 11 sixteenths and make sure one, two, three, four, our five fittings are tight with our 11 16 wrench and now we are ready to install the cylinder back into the pickup truck. Let's go. If you get a cylinder from us it's going to be all the way sucked in so let's go ahead and get this thing in there. First thing we're going to want to do is just lift it up in there and then we're going to work on getting the bottom pin in. All right, now that our bottom pin is, we're gonna go ahead and lower the jack down, get the jack under the tube stack, and start jacking it up to line up our back pin. All right, now that we got the jack lowered down, now we're gonna need two people for this. I'm gonna lift up a little bit on the tube stack, and Tio's gonna slide the jack under. All right, now that we got our bottom pin in, and now we need to work on getting our top, so we're gonna take our jack, and we're gonna start jacking it up. This is gonna take a couple up and downs to get down there and look. It's pretty good right there. So now I'm gonna get under there and slide the pin through. All right, now that we got our holes lined up with the jack, now all we're gonna do is slide the pin in. Pop just like that. Take our cotter pin. And pop that in. Now, we are ready to hook our lines back up. Now that we got our cotter pins and pins in, we are going to reattach the hoses. Green is always on the passenger side. And now we just got the yellow line to do. And our last line is our yellow line. The yellow always goes on the driver's side. All right guys, now that we got our lines tight, just make sure you take a zip tie and we want to tie this line up underneath there. Uh, you can get it from the bottom too. Just like that. Boom. And then just make sure all our cutter pins are in the holes. Boom. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. And uh, hopefully you guys are out there making money.